Mr. Sams, mm -hmm. you've been in a kind of sour mood lately. Yeah, kind of sour. Yeah, uh, you know, what's going on, man? How well, can you be so sour? Well, I hurt myself. Yeah. I'm kind of in a cranky mood. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Hey, sour. Sour. Yeah. Hey, that kind of goes along with what we've been talking about. So maybe it does. it's like appropriate that you've been sour. Well, maybe. Well, yeah, yeah. So let's see how that goes. Hey, today, folks, we're going to be talking about acids and bases. And guess what acids are? Sour, like old sourpuss right here. So hey, let's uh, let's uh, learn about uh, acids and bases. Yeah. Oh man, look at that face. Only a mother could love it. All right. <laughs> hey, I think we should uh, uh, learn a little bit about acids and bases. Okay. So uh, common acids and bases. So let's do a little video clip about common acids and bases. All right. All right, welcome to Unit 10. Here we're going to be talking about acids and bases. Now, there's a lot of uh, really common acids and bases that you'll find around your house and, <clears throat> excuse me, around uh, your school and wh wherever, grocery store. Um, so if you think acid, don't think like nasty stuff that'll burn your face off or anything like that. Now, we have some of those down here in our acid cabinet, and I'll show you those here in just a minute. But some common household ones that you have laying around, vinegar. Vinegar is an acid, okay? Very common acid that we have uh, around our houses. Um, in your soda, okay, I got a little bottle of Sprite here. If I read the ingredients, we have carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid. Okay, citric acid it gives it a little bit of a tang, kind of a mm, nice little zip tangy sourness to it because acids taste sour. Some common household bases: you can have household ammonia. This is a cleaning agent. Uh, baking soda. Baking soda is a base. Okay, it's, it's a weak base, so it's not like something again that's going to be nasty and horrible that you need to be super careful with, but it's it's a base nonetheless. Something called washing soda. Um, these two are, are cousins. Baking soda is sodium hydrogen carbonate, and washing soda is sodium carbonate. Okay. Um, Tums antacid. Okay, it's called an antacid or an anti-acid because it's a base. It bases neutralize acids. So, um, uh, yeah, a little antacid you can take if you have an upset stomach or, or anything like that. And you're, um, sometimes in our class we analyze this as our final project. So, just heads up there. Now, some of the more commercial things that we buy here in the lab are things like sodium hydroxide. Now, these are sodium hydroxide pellets. Now, sodium hydroxide is a very strong base. We'll talk about that, what that means in a while. Um, and uh, you can see it comes in these tiny little pellets here. Okay, we, we're very careful with this because the powder can kind of poof out and be nasty. We don't want to breathe that in. Um, we'll take you down into our corrosives cabinet here. This is our, our acid cabinet, if you will. Um, we've got a little cube here. This is where our nitric acid lives because you've got to keep nitric acid by itself because if it's around um, acetic acid, it can actually form some really nasty compounds. So put that in there. Um, hydrochloric acid, you're going to use a lot of hydrochloric acid. Uh, it comes in a big jug like this. Um, we don't uh, we don't let you play with the nasty jug because this stuff is horrible. Uh, we always open this underneath the, the fume hood because it smells really bad. Um, it has some you know chlorine vapors, HCl vapors, things like that. So um, Mr. Bergman and I will handle this. We'll give you a more diluted version. This is a 12 molar hydrochloric acid, which is about as concentrated as it comes commercially. Oh, we've got sulfuric acid and things like that in there. So. Um, Typically, our strong acids and things like that we keep in here, our, in, in, our, in our corrosive cupboards. Weak acids, not as important, um, but we do keep some weak acids in there. But um, a, lot, a lot of the common household items are weak acids. I'm just going to wash my hands real quick because the next thing I want to do is have a little acid snack. I think in my pocket here. You guys ever had a warhead? Extremely sour. If you read the ingredients list on warheads, uh, it's pretty ridiculous. They've got, it's mostly sugar, and then you've got malic acid, citric acid, and uh, ascorbic acid, which happens to be vitamin C. And that's what is on the little powdery thing around here on the outside. So um, if you know anything about acid or anything about warhead, if you put malic acid on something, oh my gosh, and citric acid is ridiculous. Holy cow, can we talk? <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculously sour. Oh God, horrible. Ah. So acids are sour. Never forget it. If you taste sour, you're tasting acid. We'll talk about how it works in a little bit. My eyes are watering. My mouth is watering when you're drool. Let's get to learning some actual things instead of watching Mr. Sands make horrible faces. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
It's awful. Okay. Or okay. Or better. <laughs> the end. That was pretty cool, Mr. Sam. Yeah, yeah. Lots of lots of acids and bases all over the place. Boy, they're really amazing, aren't they? Okay, speaking of acids and bases, we should learn about the properties oh, of acids okay, okay. and bases. So what do we know? First of all, I know that acids, well, they're kind of sour, yes, like you've been lately. About that, yeah. yeah, they're sour. They, they, they taste sour. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, like a lemon. Yeah. An example uh, would be what? Uh, a lemon. A lemon, yeah. Anything else that's sour tasting? Uh, that warhead I ate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, warhead. Yeah, those things are horrible. Got citric acid and malic acid and all sorts of yeah, <laughs> nasty stuff. Yeah, vinegar. Vinegar. Yeah. yeah, vinegar. Okay, good. All right, hydrogen ions. Yeah, very important to understand, folks, is that it's the hydrogen ion. When we say hydrogen ion, that's H positive. Mm -hmm. That's the hydrogen ion. Yeah, they. Uh, yeah, we'll talk more about that yeah, later. Uh, later. Acids tend to be corrosive. They're they also can corrosive. Uh, dissolve. Metals and can sometimes break down plastics, and yep. you know they uh, help some enzymes work in your stomach, things like yep. that. So yeah, yeah. very important. And uh, you know, a lot of people think of acids and they get kind of freaked out. Yeah. But there's a lot of acids that are very important and yeah. common. Some are used for cleaning agents like boric acid. Yeah. So they don't always turn things into you know evil superhero villains or anything yeah. like that. So. Yeah. So and, and sometimes even at the eye doctors they'll put acid in your eye to help. Uh, I think it's a boric acid. I I'm not sure. They use some kind of real dilute acid. And weak acid, and they so um, so it's not. Uh, they're not bad. They're not bad. There's yeah. some that are very bad. There's though. some, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then bases. Yeah, yeah, those tend to taste bitter. Bitter. Yeah, they actually, and when you touch them, they they feel slippery. Yeah. Now I've I've heard reasons for why this is the case. I don't know if it's 100 percent accurate or not, but I've heard that since you have oils in your hand, yeah. When you put a base on an oil, it actually turns it into soap. Oh, makes so sense. it's yeah. a process called saponification, and yeah. so I, I've heard that you're actually turning the oil in your hand into soap, and that's what feels slippery. I'm not exactly positive, but that makes sense though. Yeah, heard that I understand. In a workshop somewhere. And um, they produce a, a chemical called hydroxide. Mm -hmm. Remember, that's hydroxide. That's one of those polyatomic ions we learned mm -hmm. forever ago now, it seems like. Yeah. Now, bases can, you know, if you're talking about nasty acids, there are just as nasty bases yeah. as yeah. well. Bases can um, be very dangerous. But there are also some some that are not dangerous. In For example, way. like and, what? Uh, uh, like baking soda is basic, but yeah. that's, you know, you obviously you eat that. So that's not, uh, not a problem. Um, yeah, so there's also bases like in DNA and stuff, right? Um, base pairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those just have nitrogen in them, and they yeah. classify as bases that way. Yeah. So there's also some very helpful bases. Mm -hmm. So yeah, some bases are nasty, horrible, and some are not so bad. Not so bad. In fact, are essential for life. Yeah. Okay. Hey, let's.